The media we consume on our smartphones are getting better in quality and bigger in size. So the storage is starting to become a real issue with most modern smartphones. But the issue really turns into a problem when devices don't come with an expandable storage option. So sooner or later, every smartphone user is gonna run into the memory full brick wall. And options like cloud storage and Google Drive fails to provide a solution. So I was kind of looking for a fix to this problem and I ran into this. Now this is a USB ODG card reader and it's a great piece of technology. It's basically a micro USB port and a card reader squeezed into this small package. So it works like this. The micro SD card goes into this end and the other end plugs into the charging port of your smartphone. And boom, that gives you an instant access to all the content on the SD card. No installation, no setup is required for this. Just pop this thing in and you are all set to go. So that gives you an additional 32, 64 and all the way up to 128 gigabytes of additional space for storing your music, movies, backups and other similar content. So that you can have more free space on your device internal memory for storing apps and games. Now over here on my SD card, I got all my data backed up. If I hop over to the apps folder, I got the backup of all my apps. So if I need to quickly install an app, I can do that directly from here without having to re-download it from the Play Store, which is pretty neat. And if I hop over to the video folder, I got a couple of test footage that I shot yesterday when I was out with my friends. You can either stream the content directly from the SD card or you can copy it to your internal memory. Now these are uncompressed raw footage shot directly from the DSLR being streamed from the SD card. And as you can see, the playback is pretty smooth. Fast forwarding the footage is also very seamless. There's no lag whatsoever, which is great for movie watching. Another plus point of using this is you can quickly transfer files like recorded videos, downloads and things from your phone to your computer. Or you can also use this as a secondary storage to save your downloads and stuff. So yup, there are a lot of things you can do with this, but this is a lifesaver for those of you who have a device with 4 GB or 8 GB of internal memory. Uh, so you can like load all of your big movies, pictures and stuff into this and stream it directly uh, from your device. So that precious internal memory can be saved for installing apps and games, which is a pretty awesome thing. But the best part is, it only costs $2. Although it's not a new concept, the USB OTG functionality on smartphones has been around for a while now. I have been connecting SD cards, pen drives, hard drives and even floppy disks to my smartphone with a USB OTG cable. But that was kind of inconvenient because you'll have to carry around the OTG cable with the SD card reader. Inconvenient mostly because it didn't fit in my wallet. But this little thing right here is very small in size. It doesn't hang from the device like USB OTG cable. Uh, so the connection is also pretty sturdy. And you can literally fill this up with media content like movies, music and TV shows and use it as a shareable drive to watch movies and stuff when you're traveling. Pretty great thing. There are also larger ones where you can stick bigger SD cards and pen drives to your smartphone. But this one right here was the smallest and the most value for money OTG card reader that I could find online. I mean, they even have the exact same thing, just a bit fancier, selling online for as high as $15. I mean, you don't need to spend $15 on these. Yeah, these are very, very useful, but $15 might be on the higher side. Now, this one right here costed me only $2 and it's totally worth it, which makes this one of the most useful Android accessory and a must have for every Android user. However, the only requirement for using this is that your device should support the USB OTG feature. Now Android supports USB OTG, but it's up to your device manufacturer to enable that function on your smartphone. Now most Android devices support USB OTG, but some don't. So do check online whether your device supports USB OTG or not before buying this. But as far as I know, all Samsung Galaxy devices support USB OTG. Most Motorola devices support that. Most LG phones do. Uh, some Samsung phones also support USB OTG. And I think most of the Nexus devices support USB OTG and a vast majority of smartphones from Chinese manufacturers like OnePlus and Xiaomi support USB OTG. So yup, that's about it. 
If you got to learn something new today, then please give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already to watch more interesting videos like this one. I'm your host HK from the Android Guy signing off and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.